Think you know OSINT? Most people only see the tip, basic Google searches, maybe a social media lookup. But beneath the surface, advanced techniques can uncover astonishing amounts of information. This video is for educational purposes, only don't misuse any information provided in this video. Today, we're diving deep into 10 secret OSINT tricks that go far beyond the basics. This is about understanding the digital breadcrumbs we all leave behind, not misusing them. Let's get started. When most people think of reverse image search, they immediately picture Google Images. It's the go-to tool for millions, and for good reason. It's fast, familiar, and often effective. But what if I told you that relying solely on Google Images means you're only scratching the surface of what's possible? There's a whole world of reverse image search engines out there, each with its own strengths, quirks, and hidden capabilities. Google's results are popular, but they're not always comprehensive. Sometimes the images you're looking for are buried deep within obscure online forums, hidden on niche websites, or tucked away in corners of the internet that Google's crawlers rarely visit. If you're searching for something truly unique or trying to trace the origins of a mysterious photo, you need to look beyond the obvious. That's where alternative tools like TinEye, Yandex, and Bing Visual Search come into play. Each of these platforms uses its own unique algorithms and indexes different parts of the web, which means they can uncover results that Google might completely overlook. By comparing results across multiple engines, you can piece together a more complete story behind any image. TinEye, for example, is exceptional at finding exact matches and tracking an image's history over time. Want to know where an image first appeared or how it's been altered? TinEye's timeline feature can reveal the evolution of a photo, helping you spot edits, manipulations, or the original source. Yandex, on the other hand, is a powerhouse for facial recognition and excels at surfacing results from regional or foreign websites that Google often misses. If you're searching for people, places, or content from outside your usual web bubble, Yandex can open doors you didn't even know existed. Bing Visual Search also brings something different to the table. Its results can be surprisingly distinct from Google's, sometimes surfacing images and sources that are nowhere to be found on other platforms. This diversity can be the key to finding that one elusive clue. The best strategy? Don't limit yourself. Run your image through all of these search engines. Each one has its own blind spots and specialties, and often one will find what the others completely miss. It's like casting a wider net when you're fishing for information. By making this simple habit part of your workflow, you dramatically expand your search capabilities. You'll uncover hidden clues, trace the true origins of images, and reveal details that would otherwise remain invisible. In the world of digital investigation, the power of obscure reverse image search can make all the difference. Trick 2 EXIF data, the hidden metadata in most digital photos. It can reveal the camera model, date, time, and sometimes even GPS coordinates. While big platforms often strip this data, smaller sites and forums may leave it intact. Use free EXIF viewers or your computer's built-in tools to extract it. If you find an original, uncompressed photo, you might uncover location, timeline, or authenticity details. Photos are more than images. They're data packets with hidden stories. Always check for metadata before moving on. When information vanishes online, the Wayback Machine is your time machine. It archives snapshots of websites, letting you see deleted pages or track changes over time. Plug in a URL to find old blog posts, product pages, or company histories, even after deletion. Compare snapshots to see what's changed or been erased. Other services like Archive.is can fill in gaps, especially for recent or controversial content. Deleted doesn't always mean gone. Archives can reveal what was meant to disappear. Use them to uncover the internet's hidden past. People reuse usernames across platforms, creating digital breadcrumbs. Tools like Sherlock or What's My Name.app automate the search, checking hundreds of sites for a single handle. Find matching accounts, then cross-check for similar bios, photos, or interests to confirm identities. Each platform, Reddit, GitHub, Steam, offers a different facet of someone's life. By connecting these dots, you build a multi-dimensional profile from public info. It's about expanding one clue into a complete picture. Always verify details to avoid false positives. Aggregating public data tells a bigger story than any single profile. Google dorking unlocks the real power of search. While most people use Google for everyday questions, advanced dorking techniques allow you to dig much deeper, uncovering information that's hidden from the average user. This is where the true potential of search engines comes alive, transforming a simple query into a powerful investigative tool. By using operators like Site, 
file type, and in title, you can zero in on specific information, such as confidential PDFs, internal documents, or even login portals. For example, the site operator restricts your search to a particular website, while file type helps you find documents in formats like PDF, Docs, or XLS. The entitle operator lets you search for keywords within the title of web pages, making it easier to locate sensitive files that might otherwise go unnoticed. The real magic happens when you start combining these operators for laser-focused results. For instance, a query like site.company.com entitle confidential file type PDF can reveal internal documents that are not meant for public eyes. By chaining multiple operators together, you can filter out irrelevant results and hone in on exactly what you're looking for. The inural operator is especially useful for finding keywords within URLs, which can help you discover hidden directories or admin panels. Meanwhile, the related operator uncovers websites similar to the one you're investigating, broadening your research and helping you map out an organization's digital footprint. Mastering these tools turns a basic search into a precision investigation. With practice, you'll learn how to refine your queries, analyze results more efficiently, and uncover data that most people would never find. This skill is invaluable for cybersecurity professionals, journalists, and anyone interested in open source intelligence. Practice chaining operators to filter millions of results down to what truly matters. Each additional operator acts like a filter, narrowing your search and saving you valuable time. The more specific your query, the more relevant your results will be. Sensitive information often hides in plain sight, if you know how to look. Many organizations unintentionally expose confidential files, login pages, or internal documents, and advanced dorking techniques can help you spot these digital breadcrumbs. In the right hands, Google's search bar becomes a powerful OSINT tool. With advanced dorking, you're not just searching, you're investigating, uncovering, and connecting the dots in ways that can make a real difference. So keep practicing, stay curious, and remember, the world's information is just a few smart queries away. Every web page's source code can hide valuable clues. Right-click and view source to find developer comments, hidden links, or unlisted directories. Comments may reveal emails, usernames, or internal notes. Look for file paths or links to test pages not visible on the main site. JavaScript files can expose API endpoints or extra data. You don't need to be a coder, just know what to look for. Source code analysis often reveals what's invisible to regular users. Geolocation isn't just about GPS tags. Most platforms strip those. Instead, analyze the image itself, street signs, storefronts, landmarks, even vegetation or license plates. Use Google Maps and Street View to match visual clues. Shadows and plant types can hint at time, latitude, or climate. Language on signs narrows down regions. Communities like Bellingcat excel at this, piecing together locations from tiny details. It's painstaking, but the payoff is huge. With enough analysis, almost any photo's location can be pinpointed. The real power in research and investigation comes from fusing data, cross-referencing public records from a variety of sources. When you combine information from property records, business registrations, court filings, and professional licenses, you unlock a much deeper understanding than any single source could provide. Each database holds its own piece of the puzzle, but it's only when you connect them that the full picture begins to emerge. Many of these records are available online, but they're often siloed, meaning they exist in separate systems that don't automatically talk to each other. This is where your investigative skills come into play. By systematically searching government websites, online public records databases, and official registries, you can start to bridge these gaps and bring the information together. Begin your search with a simple name and city. This can lead you to a property record, which might reveal not just ownership, but also addresses, purchase dates, and even co-owners. Sometimes a single property record can open up a whole new avenue of investigation. From there, pivot to business databases or court records. A business registration might list partners, addresses, or related companies. Court filings can reveal legal disputes, judgments, or other connections that aren't obvious at first glance. Each new detail you uncover can point you toward another database to search. As you gather more information, you'll notice how details from one record can unlock another. An address found in a property record might match a business registration, or a co-owner's name might appear in a court filing. These connections help you build a network of relationships and events, revealing patterns and links that would otherwise remain hidden. 
it's crucial to keep careful notes and stay organized. Watch for false positives, names can repeat, and not every match is the person you're looking for. Always corroborate your findings with middle initials, dates of birth, addresses, or other unique identifiers to ensure accuracy and avoid costly mistakes. By combining these fragmented pieces of data, you gradually build a detailed and accurate profile. Each document, record, or database entry adds another layer of context, helping you see the bigger picture. This process of information fusion transforms scattered facts into powerful insights. With patience and persistence, you can turn a handful of disconnected records into a comprehensive, actionable dossier, one that reveals the story behind the data. Language and timing reveal more than you think. Regional slang, spelling, and date formats can pinpoint someone's country or even city. Track when someone posts to map their daily routine and infer their time zone. Consistent activity windows suggest where they live. Combine linguistic clues with posting times for a strong location hypothesis. It's a subtle, non-invasive way to learn about someone's habits and whereabouts. Small details add up to big insights. Don't just search, monitor. Automated tools like Visual Ping or Follow That Page alert you when a web page changes. Set them to watch for updates to bios, job postings, or product pages. Get instant notifications when something changes. No more manual checking. Journalists, investigators, and job seekers all use this to stay ahead. It's proactive OSINT. You're the first to know when new info appears. Automate the boring part and focus on what matters. Those are 10 secret OSINT tricks that go way beyond a Google search. Think critically, dig deeper, and always cross-reference your findings. Use these techniques ethically to understand and protect, not invade privacy. Knowledge is power. Use it wisely. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, subscribe for more deep dives.